Hi, it's Tessa, and I'm here today to film my favorites for the month of May, which has come and gone, and I can't believe it's almost June. But here we are, and I have a bunch of stuff in front of me, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started so we can get through it. I have a lot. I'm going to start with the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, and the color is San Paolo, which my friend Deanna sent me at Christmas time, and I never really used it. She raves about this product, and I can see why. It looks so nice on. It looks like this. I love it. It is so nice. So, I think I might want to get a couple more of these when my no buy is over because, I mean, this shade's nice, but it would be nice to have like a lighter one, a more nude. Then, I have the Wet n Wild Color Icon. Reserve Your Cabana Bronzer, which I use as an all-over face highlight, which is like just this big highlight powder. It looks like this, and you can just put it all over your face. It's kind of like a matte highlighter. It has a really, really light sheen to it, which you probably can't even see, but I love it. Oh, yeah. Totally sporting some arm candy today. This is a bobble bar bracelet, and then a bracelet from who knows where, and then one that I made with some sparkles on it. So yeah. Anyway, so those two things. And then in my Ipsy bag last month, I got the Pop Goes the Shadow by Elizabeth Mott in the color Champagne. And I love this eyeshadow. It is so pretty. It looks like this. I don't know if the camera will be able to pick it up real well. But it is beautiful. Let me see if I can tap the screen here and get it to focus. It's so pretty. Love that. My autofocus isn't working right lately. Look, I can't get it to focus properly. I don't know. Then my friend Deanna sent me this a long time ago. It's the Face of Australia. Hello Dolly Blush. I think it was in a favorite once before. I think this blush is amazing. It looks like this. It's so pretty and so pink. And there's a swatch. Gorgeous blush. And to apply my blush lately, I've been loving this duo foam, duo foam, <laughs> duo fiber brush. And this is supposed to be a MAC 187. It's but it's just an eBay knockoff. But it's comparable to the MAC 187. So there's that. I've also been loving my Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki. Whoops, I bought my camera. Which looks like this. And then, I have so much stuff here. I'm so sorry. This video is going to be like forever long. And then I've been using the Revlon Color Stay Whipped in um, 220 Nude. And the reason I got this out, I don't know... I could probably do a video about it, but I'm still doing a ton of research. Eventually, I'd like to switch to, and I think I mentioned this in my last video, which may not be posted yet, I want to switch to all paraben-free makeup, and it's going to be a process. So, in the meantime, I've been doing a lot of research, and so far I have this basket full of um, stuff that I've already researched that I can use. And the stuff, for the most part, that I'm showing... Although, I think this is the only thing, and this next thing, I haven't researched, so, but I'm slowly getting there. This is just a long process, but um, everything else so far that I'm showing is paraben-free. Next, I have the Tarte Power Couple um, Blush and Bronzer Duo, which I got around Christmas time, and I'm still loving it. And Tarte is all paraben-free, so this is definitely on the good list. So there's that. And then two Sephora shadows. This is the Outrageous Prism Chrome. Um, one in metallic beige and one in metallic bronze. I have these on today, which I don't think you can probably see, but I do. I don't know how my shadow looks. I've been out, um, you know, celebrating Memorial Day. The only thing with these is they fall out of the pan. Look, it's just a big, messy shadow. But, um... These are absolutely gorgeous. Stunning shadows. That one is in 
metallic um, beige. And then this one is metallic bronze. That looks like that. So pretty. The next thing I have is a Tarte Emphasize Waterproof Amazonian Clay Cream Eyeshadow, and the color is Slate. And it's gorgeous. It actually came with a brush. I don't know if you can see that. Oh. Where to put it? It's a beautiful, beautiful color. Very nice. Then I've been using the L'Oreal Lash Out Butterfly Mascara. I'm really liking this. The lighting's funny, so it's not going to pull it out. But there's that. Then the last makeup item is the Nude by Nature Virgin Blush. And again, Deanna sent me this around Christmas time. And it's this beautiful blush. I'm going to swatch it here. It's a bronzy peach color. And I will stick it on my hand so you can see. It'll pull that in. Maybe. There we go. Focus. Perfect. Okay. So there's that. Then a perfume. This is Love Sweet Love by Philosophy, which smells so amazing. And then my Sleep Bath and Body Works Aromatherapy Lavender Vanilla uh, Pillow Mist, which looks like this. I cannot sleep without this. This has been a godsend for me so relaxing it smells so good and I cannot be without it then the 100% pure organic coffee bean caffeine eye cream I need to buy another one of these because I'm running low I do not want to be without it it is amazing amazing stuff I put this on morning and night and it is just fabulous I'm sorry I keep bumping my camera but I just wish it was bigger too but you only need like a, a droplet then I have four um, nail polishes that I've been loving. The first one is by Zoya, and it looks like this. And it's called Rocky, and it's just this gorgeous blue color. The next one is Essie's Bikini So Teeny, which everyone has seen. Periwinkle blue. Then I have the Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Extreme Wear, and the color is Raspberry. And finally, Pacific Blue by Sally Hansen, which everybody knows and loves. I have two things that I do not like. I have the NYC City Proof Buildable Mascara, which is a big clumpy mess. No good. I'm going to let it sit for a while and see if drying out helps it, but I'm not so sure. And I keep looking at my camera because it seems like it's kind of out of focus. Hopefully that looks a little crisper. I think it might be my mirrors. The light on my mirror is throwing it off. Okay, there's that, which I hate. And then this Essie nail polish is Mint and Candy Apple. Everybody loves this, and it looks like terrible old school um, whiteout on my nails. It's ugly and streaky, and I hate it. I don't know why everybody loves it, but I think it's nasty. So that is all my favorites for the month of May, and I'm going to work really, really hard and it may be a month or so, but I'm going to work really hard on getting you guys paraben-free makeup information. I need to do more research. I need to compile some lists because a lot of things in different lines are paraben-free, but not the whole entire company is paraben-free. Um, for example, Physician's Formula, their main line of stuff is not paraben-free, but their organic wear is. So there's things like that. Whereas Tarte, the whole company is paraben-free. Anything you buy is paraben-free. So there's a lot of complicated things to look at and go through. Like, here's another one. This is paraben-free, but the regular Revlon color stay is not. So, 
it's it's really hard. Um, but I'll get there eventually. I'll just have to pick out product, products I can use and leave the other ones alone. Thanks for watching, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.